This news breaking in just the last few minutes. A judge has handed down the longest January 6th sentence by far. A former NYPD officer has been convicted of attacking police at the U.S. Capitol. Thomas Webster is his name. Let's bring in NBC News justice reporter, my colleague Ryan Riley, with the latest. Ryan, I, I saw your tweets about this happening today, and this feels like the, the, the most severe sentence that was on the table. It is. Well, actually, prosecutors have been seeking 17.5 years, but he ended up getting a decade behind uh, behind bars, which is a record-setting January 6th sentence. It's the longest sentence we've seen to date. Uh, the previous record was a little over seven years. There are two individuals who were tied for that. But I think what really put this over the top is the fact that, A, he went to trial, uh, B, there was violence involved, and C, he lied on the stand. I think it was very clear to anyone who was watching that testimony, as the jury concluded, as the judge uh, concluded, as the prosecutor prosecution said uh, that Thomas Webster was making up a story about what happened that day. You can't watch that video and actually believe the story that he was trying to sell the jury. And thankfully, they, they didn't, because it was just amazing to see, frankly, a former New York City police officer craft a narrative and try to sell this BS story to a jury that he was in, that it was actually the other officer who was uh, egging him on. Um, he actually claimed that when he grabbed the officer by the face mask that he was doing that because it was a technical move because he wanted to make sure that the officer could see his hands as though it was a stop on the side of the highway and you're keeping your, your hands on the steering wheel. So it was kind of just a, a ridiculous, ludicrous story that was thrown out by Webster here. And I think that that's why uh, we see this record setting sentence in this January 6th case.